Chill out. What's going on guys? Welcome back. For today's episode, I'm going to be starting back up with the high intensity interval training workouts, better yet known as HIIT training. So this time we will be starting up with the intermediate phase, all right? So it's going to be a step up from the beginner's level. We're going to start implementing a little bit of dumbbell work, making it a little bit more difficult and higher pace than obviously the beginner's level since we are going to work our way up. All right, so it will be structured the exact same way as the beginner style workout. So it's going to be one minute stations all the way down. Once we finish all six stations, we'll take that two to three minute break, get some water real quick, get a breath, come back, hit that second round, and then same thing, two to three minutes, and then we'll finish up with a third and final round, all right? So it's gonna be a total of 18 minutes of working, not that much. It will be a little bit more difficult than the beginner's phase, but don't worry about it, it's a great challenge. You know, like I said, work your way up. All right, so for the first station we're gonna be doing, we got a push up and a row and a row, all right? So what we're gonna be doing, Grab some dumbbells, obviously something that's gonna be able to challenge you and you can consistently be bumping out reps throughout that minute. All right, so you're gonna go ahead, start off on the ground right here. What we're gonna be doing, start off with a push-up and you're going to row to your waist. And again, remember with these ones, when we row, we don't wanna come up in an upwards motion. We really wanna activate our lats and row it to our pocket. All right, so row, push-up, row, push-up, and rowing right to our waist, all right? So that will be our first one. Next one will be some one-on-one -on -one half hammer curls, all right guys? So again, you guys are gonna pick up a weight that obviously is gonna be challenging, but you can go ahead and control throughout that minute you're doing the set. What it's gonna look like, guys, we're gonna make sure our chest and back is sitting up nice and straight. We're going to go ahead and come up, curl hammer style. You're gonna come out at a halfway point, stop, come back up, all the way down. Okay, we'll do it again. One, Halfway, back up, all the way down. Nice and slow, all right? So again, those will get pretty tough throughout that minute, but obviously just do your best. If you need to take a little break, that's fine, but just do as many as you can throughout that minute and really burn yourself out, all right? So that's gonna be it for that one. Number three, we're gonna be doing some double burpees. And I know how everybody loves burpees, well, you're gonna love this one even more because this one is a burpee on steroids. You're gonna be doing two push-ups at the bottom and two jumps at the top instead of one, all right? So what it's gonna look like, guys, we're gonna start it off right here, jump it up twice, one, two, coming down, one, two, up, one, two, back down, one, and two, all right? So again, I know those are pretty difficult and pretty tired, so just do your best to make sure we're staying moving throughout that minute and we should be good, all right? So number four is going to be a front delt raise followed by a side delt raise, all right guys? So check it out for this one. Again, making sure we're standing nice and tall, chest is up, back is nice and straight. We're going to come up with a front raise and then out into a side raise. Coming up front, nice and under control, out into a side. And again, really try to make sure you're focusing on not rocking your back to get it up and putting all that pressure on your back. Really not a good thing, not a good idea to do. All right, so make sure we're staying nice and stabilized and really focusing on our set, all right? So that is going to be number four. And for our fifth one, we're gonna be doing some tries and wides, all right guys? So it's gonna be a tricep push-up followed by a wide grip push-up, all right? So we're starting it off on the ground. And remember when we're doing our tricep push-up, guys, we really wanna make sure we're keeping those elbows tucked in, really focusing that tension onto our triceps. And then for the wide grip, we want to open out nice and wide, really putting that focus onto our chest, all right? So. Starting off with a tricep push-up from this position, we are going to come down to a tricep, open up, into a wide grip. Pull, try, open up, wide, all right? So again, try to keep that pace up as high as you can throughout that minute, and that will be our fifth one. And for our sixth and final station, we're gonna be doing some plank up-downs with a double pulse push-up, all right? So we will be starting off on the ground. You guys are gonna be in a plank position, all right? So from this position, you guys will be coming all the way up, and then this is gonna be an optional part. So if you guys wanna do a tricep push-up, that's fine, or a wide grip push-up, whatever you want, all right? So once you come up from that plank up-down, we're gonna come down to the bottom, and we're gonna stay down there, and then you're gonna do two pulses. One, two, Back up, then again, back down, then do it again. Up, one, two, back up. And then into a plank, and back up, over and over, all right? So that is going to be all six of our stations for the intermediate phase. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button for your boy. I got a bunch more coming up. We got the intermediate phase, then we're gonna do an advanced phase all the way to an elite level, all right? So. 
Make sure we're staying positive, be successful, keep dreaming big.